Hey guys, this is Jason from Servo City, and because April 2nd is Arduino Day, this particular episode of Tech Tips will be focused on controlling a servo from an Arduino. First, we're going to talk about hooking up uh, or wiring your Arduino and your servo together. Um, the first tip is make sure that the pin that you're using to control your servo uh, supports PWM. On some boards, you'll have a little tilde next to the pins that support PWM, but you can always look up a pinout diagram for the particular board that you have, and that will tell you which pins do and do not support PWM. Um, the second tip is to make sure you don't use a pin that also has an onboard LED, such as on the Arduino Uno or SparkFun Redboard in this case. Um, pin 13 has an onboard LED, and when the uh, board powers up, it blinks the LED. Um, so if you do end up using that pin, you can get some erratic behavior during boot up. Next, I want to talk about powering your servo and your Arduino. Um, first, you want to make sure that the grounds are always connected. Um, and so you can see in this case, I have the red wire that's going to be going to our battery, going straight through to the red wire on the servo. But I have the black wire, the negative, um, going into one ground pin on the Arduino, and then coming out the other ground pin and going back into the black wire on the servo here. So um, we could pretty easily take and just run this black wire right from the battery to the servo. And that's something that you see from time to time, but um, the best practice is to connect your grounds together. Um, and so once you have uh, your pins, figure out which pin you're going to be controlling it from, um, and you have your wiring set up, you want to make sure that you have a battery that will uh, be the right voltage range uh, for your servo. Your, most servos will run on 4.8 uh, to 6 volts unless it's a high voltage servo and let, in which case you can actually use a 2S LiPo which is kind of nice but most servos will want up to about 6 volts. Um, uh, now an Arduino Uno for example um, will want a minimum of 6 volts so um, while you can run them on the same uh, power supply you're going to be uh, walking very thin line. So if you have a an oversized battery like a 3S that has tons of power uh, and tons of voltage and you have um, a high quality voltage regulator to keep that right at 6 volts, um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but, or you can go ahead and use a high voltage servo and a 2S LiPo. Um, but in most cases you might want to just keep those power supplies separate. So that's how I have this set up. Um, we're actually going to be powering this uh, Arduino Uno, or Redboard actually, from uh, USB. And we're going to be powering the servo itself from the battery. Now if I wanted to power them from the same uh, power supply, instead of uh, connecting the, the USB for power, um, I could have the the red, uh, the positive from the battery going into the VN pin on the Arduino Uno, um, and that's going to have a voltage regular regulator in place to step that down to the, the five volts that the uh, Arduino uh, really needs. So it has, if you're putting uh, power in through a pin, VN is the pin that you're looking for. On some Arduinos, that's labeled raw. If you have an Arduino Mini, for example. Next, I want to talk about the code that you would use to control a servo from your Arduino. Let's take a look at an example sketch. The first thing you do is include the servo library, and you create a servo object. In your setup function, you take and attach a pin to that servo object, and quite commonly, there's only one variable passed in there, but you can also send the minimum and maximum PWM range when you uh, use that attach method. This is beneficial because you'll get the maximum performance out of your servo if you're using the PWM range of your servo because not all servos are created equal. So next, when you want to actually tell your servo to go to a particular location, there are two ways to do that. You can use dot write or you can use dot write microseconds. The difference is dot write will map your servo range to 0 to 180. So you're, they're thinking of this as degrees, um, but it's really just a range from minimum to maximum rotation. 
Um, and this, I would only use this, I would only recommend using this if you have passed in your PWM range when you attached um, the pin to that servo object. Otherwise, you can pass in the exact PWM signal that you want to send using dot write microseconds. So for example, if it's a 1000 to 2000 microsecond range um, servo, you'd want to pass in 1500 to send it to the center of its rotation. To make things convenient, we have an interactive example with a wiring diagram and the example code. You can find a link to that in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, send an email to tech at servocity.com.